you took care of me when I was unconscious. And I remember once you were rubbing my head when I was unconscious. Yes, I remember that story. Someone said to you that, that my nickname was Big Mama, and they said that if uh, I was flying you, if you were sleeping, I would be sitting there rubbing your forehead and making sure that you were having a good flight the whole way in, or holding your hand, one of the two, or maybe both. <laughs> You're a frequent flyer with us. Three flights? I think you might hold the record. We discovered when she was a year and a half that she had cerebral palsy and epilepsy. Her seizures go static, so that just means they don't stop on their own. By the time they get enough medication in her body, she can't breathe on her own. That's where STARS usually is called in. Well, there's lots of people who are on your flights. The paramedics, the pilots, the PEDS ICU team. Yeah, I feel like they're part of the family. Emily is just amazing and it's just such a pleasure to see how much uh, resilience she has uh, and how much she's overcome and how well she's done. She's a tough girl. Do you still have the star bear? I still have all three. All three of them. And I hold the teddy bear in what you're wearing. Yes. In the flight suit? Yes. Yeah, in the flight suit. I think of you. Oh, do you? That warms my heart. Oh, she is a wonderful girl. She's uh, super special. In order to kind of overcome the things that Emily has, you have to be a very special person in her heart, in her mind, and in her spirit and soul. And that shines through every day. She's as vibrant as the color of her hair. She's doing great now. She's um, involved in Special Olympics, swimming and rock climbing and has started playing soccer. She's a sweet and fun girl and I just am so thankful that she was able to get the medical care that she could just so that she could be around and we can enjoy her.